pre-season test that, as I said, happened just under a month ago at this stage. as well. A few recent upgrades yeah, in the last year or two. We do return here for round one. In talent this year, cup, bigger and better than ever. It's just safe riders. to say that last year was a phenomenal season. We did, of course, New, have a runaway a title other winner top riders in Vader Blend as well. He's moved on to make their way up the ladder oh, in the road How are you, mate? Hope you're well, and how much are you looking forward to this season? We had some belting races oh. last year and a runaway winner. That's Vader Pratama. There were a number of riders races uh, last year. He was standing phenomenal. Didn't quite tell the full story. There's some super close racing in 2023. It is this year already in the Asia talent. Really gets the juices flowing. As you say, Chris, Zen Matani on pole Paul. position in the Asia Talent Cup. Rishi Takahira, three did number nine, nine pole one front row in Malaysia in, towards the end had a podium of last year, but he hasn't since had a podium round Takahira one of last year. Right, he he burst competed in four rounds last quite year. Outstanding Best fashion. Come to round one this Asia year. After only Malaysia, having four rounds last year. Come to round one um, and put it on the front row. Yeah, real, real job World done. Series. He's actually won that championship in 2022. Two. Championships before debuting here. Yeah, Ikigami, a real one to watch from Japan. Selection event that's Plenty. held every year to decide who gets into the Asia Talent Cup. Would have watched some of it the following away. year. I remember seeing um, Ikigami. Yeah, Ogiwara, the runaway the real star of victory. Yeah, so, me, but not quite like the these Model 3 like machines, we all know what it's great, but it does get up and over in that slipstream campaign. Now, international circuit part of the thing. So then, your grid is a Japanese 1 2 in Venetia with Ogiwara and Ikigami. Farish Hafai, Takin Filipino rider Dakwigan. Leading the fourth row. To get used to on the grid this year, where C12 rookies joining the grid. Seven countries represented in 2024 Australia, India, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia. It's been a cracking year of Asia talent creation. And who's your first early best session in the year? The first race on the season. 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 The 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 Wara, or Ikigami, as we've mentioned, on the outside of the so This row. is going to be a fascinating race one. Conditions pretty much right over the main grandstand on the front straight. We're looking so straight issues at in the it. commentary box. Hopefully, Hopefully no to see the screen. Screen. So for issues the riders the as they complete the first be remiss, then, uh, warm up lap of the seat. Your early bets yeah, today. fair play. <laughs> as I said, I think yeah, fair play. the number two of Matani, Takahira, yeah, really a star. Ogiwara have come into the season. I'm not really giving you a ready for 12 laps of the Lasail International Circuit will be ready to get going in 2024 officially. There we are. And the and the lights go out. We are in the way for 2024 in the Asia. Disappointing qualifying. Qualifying in P5, the number 16. Got a perfect launch. Matani is slotted in behind. He'll be happy enough with that start as the third or seventh event of Singapore. So don't read too much into the early positions. Background of your picture there. It's going to be the in the background there. Ready. Fog on the number 20. Play a little bit clever. What's going on? Clever in the so opening know changes. How they know how right clear of the chase him. He, he won the, the course last year and didn't stand on the podium from the round. But look at the round one from the to the end two. of the season. So are leading. <laughs> They have done in Moto 2 and Moto 3 Pirelli coming into the age of talent number 2 there is who I was speaking to but over race distance he wasn't done quite so on last year over one lap the Pirellis as we sort of knew coming into the season were much tired of observation is going to play a massive part in the the maybe not quite as it is continuing to climb seconds as they two more experienced riders. Coming up to P3, P3, P4. P4. Halfway will be desperate to the podium. Siri has a great pace. move. Two over the inside on the number nine machine. Ogiwara and Matani this time around. No
Yeah, just taking a look through the and time Levi and Russo. So they've got a five, th even though they're in this group on fighting, the they are position, the quicker, field position on the front there. The position on the front there. In front of them, you can't really get two as those two riders. The faster riders always going to qualify higher of the grid. Now, see, that's how top two in the race is now. So, three laps of game of four seconds over four. Tremendous stuff. And obviously, when I'm talking, you can see how these riders think. Is it helping these riders do? So, this is a real fight for the final spot on the tier. I don't know if you remember. Chris, he was in the podium fight in the tricky conditions. The I think it was in the first time race in one. Is it? Yeah, exactly. P4 so in, in India last year, and he had that big fortune in the game. Just podium say. So that's being started to Ramadi, but who leads half the way? In C4. Oh, oh big crash for it. Sorry, oh. big crash of the first boot. Oh, Ajuar is down. High side. Coming in some time. It's still on the gap of two here. Two seconds. Give them for a top in ninety pounds. Sliding in through the corners. I knew you were taking that. I knew you were going to be there. He's got one. Four second advantage again as they come through. One second. One position to be his own first. First of all, he's out of the speed set. This is where Ajuar went down a lap ago. It was the number 14 of Ikigami. Tip it into the apex. Singapore may be a little bit too it's late on the fight. Missed his breaking zone. Now the a tad. P2 and P3 Walking on the already in the Asia Juarez Talent Cup. Cup. So 9, 27 so laps to go. As we cross the line. Asia Talent Cup roared back into life. Fantastic start to the 2024 season. From P5. And as we saw yet in yesterday's race, that second row start. Bullshot coming around turn one. An app here in this class during pre-season. So we'll be expecting big things from Hira and Singapong. Then it's Ramadipa, Ogiwara and Kagami on road two. into pit lane and it is Ikigami. Um, not sure why that it has pulled into pit lane, so I'm not sure whether he's got a problem with his bike that he needs fixing. Drama then, unexpected drama for the Japanese rider Ikigami and soon to be lights out for race two here in LaSalle for the Idemitsu. It's like again a good start from pole position from Mitani again. Look at the number 16 of Ozzy Watt once again just moves Mitani across to the outside. Nothing wrong with that though, number 19, but it's as you were from race one. Ozzy Watt getting a brilliant launch. Saturday is race one because that is an, a carbon copy of his up into third position now so Hafa is chasing that maiden podium in this class absolutely nailed the launch so much quicker than everyone else off the line and but maybe it was a mechanical issue because if he'd started from pit lane after a penalty fortunately it's going to be podium hopes over for the young Japanese rider um, but let's or lights out that he would cause a problem for some of the on track to get some experience at least I unless a red flag or something comes up 15 not quite sure you're allowed to do that too many times boys um this group is much much closer than it was in race one tack here straight the first lap is complete here in the Asia Talent Cup Ogiwari though getting a great for now but who is that going up the inside it's half eye on the it's number 19 eye, and this group much closer because we saw this yesterday the top two going out in front yeah exactly Ogiwari Matani as we were yesterday but it is much closer you throw a blanket over the Magiwara has a little peek over the shoulder just to see how much space is there while it's chopping and changing behind Takahiro settled into P3 be happy to stay in fourth place for much longer so as I was saying before yeah Russo has got 1.1 seconds he's already chopped up yesterday with a P8 finish the young Australian so let's see what Russo um, so they can just slow each other down and that might allow Russo to breathe as well so no one disturbing Russo at this moment in time so let's hope he can get his not sure who it was on the first lap but if it was the number nine of Takira then he's got um yeah, they're a little bit fond of running it wide around that. Into the slipstream, but he won't get ahead of Zen Matani here. It looks like they're going to be late on the brakes and that. On this type of machinery where slipstream pays, plays a huge effect. A good Chris, yeah. Ojiwara then must just get an unbelievable launch out of the final. the podium place on the final lap yesterday. Did the number 19, lost the podium. Cup, he's sitting in third place so far, and he's looking the most aggressive, I would say. Bridge that gap. Not good news if you're Ojiwara or Zen Matani. It was much more. Six riders here, and we've got multiple overtaking spots here at LaSalle International. So it's going to try a little move up the inside of Hafai, but the Malaysian a little late. Come in a little bit earlier in for a treat here. 
Yeah, the grandstands are filling up as we go into the final corner for the third time this race. This time, let's see then if anyone can try and get into the slipstream of the number six here in race two. Half by sets the fastest lap of a race, a two minute ten point of Ojiwara. Breaks late and he is going to dive bomb down into turn one. Is he going to get it stopped? We have a change of the lead for the first time. Ojiwara demoted to P2. It's Hafai who wins out ahead of Ogiwara. We saw Ramadipa then run the wider left line. Five as Takahiro looks Ooh. to bite back on the number seven, but he just can't quite... Lap. So despite this battling away, Russo, of course, doesn't have the slipstream. Lose time with each other battling away. They're not battling too much at this moment in time. That's going to come later on in the race. Russo, as you can see in the background there, is doing it all on his own. So a tough job ahead for Russo. And in half a lap, Hafai has gone from P1 to P3. That's just how... This is really heating up now on this third lap as with nine to go as the top threes now we come across the line to complete another lap. But the number 19 of Farish Hafai dives up the inside. Look at the oh, oh, big crash down at turn Hafai one. Hafai and are gone. Hafai down. Oh. Chase lead Ojiwara. That's two DNFs in a row. No fault of his own though. I'd love to see Chris. Ojiwara, of course, on the outside. The number 16. Hafai. Hafai a bit later on the brakes. And the two just come together. Collision there. But back out front then, it is Richie Takahira who has profited. And Matani in third. But Takahira, where are you going? You're gone very wide there. Just Again. run. There's, not, there's running wide and there's running as wide as Takahira is going. Before. I have a, a warning coming up for Takahira. A track limits warning. That's these four who are batting out for the victory. If it says it is, one of them is going to be a little bit for these four riders. Matani, of course, going for two wings from two. Oh, to yeah. try and get a uh, team stuck into there, Chris. A bit of a red at fault most for not probably expecting Ojiwara to cut across us. For Ojiwara, pre one of the pre-season favourites, fastest rider in pre-season by country. Thankfully for him, he can look at it as it's early in the season and it's not nice. Zen Matani taking the maximum yesterday. He's riding in podium positions here. In yeah, unfortunately, well, Takahira, Takahira goes wide again. Them. I'm not sure what's going on. He nearly tags the back of Matani going into the break zone for the final corner as well. Um, so yeah, um, so we're going to keep an eye on that. If we get any track limits warnings, we will of course let you September to get back on an ATC machine and try and get his championship chart. You have a double DNF at the first race when you come into the season with such high hopes. He's won through his own fault, you could say, in the second one. He's got to wait until September now to try and get his championship charge back on track. Okay. And of course, we do have a fascinating battle out front. Five and a half. Keeper currently holds the lead. He's trying to build up a little bit of an advantage out front. I think it's over that probably will not last, particularly coming down the front straight, which we will see behind him. Zen Matani, yesterday's race winner, cruising in P3. While the... are looking for their first podiums in the Asia Talent Cup, Singapore. Ready. So two experienced riders versus two young rookies. A tantal um, they don't want to be sort of squabbling with each other too early. I'm pretty sure race on the number two. But it is now five laps to go in race two here across the summer before we head to India. As Matani then, is he going to go for two for one? A little bit wide, but he is going to hold it. Matani, a great move down at turn one. We see Matani display his pace. Seven seconds he had to spare yesterday. We might just start to see a move from the sophomore Japanese rider. Keep an eye on the number. Settle, riding a settled race and maybe just waiting for a mistake out front. Points from the opening two races of the season. Takahiro in second place. It's the front and as you say, he'll be comfortable and confident that maybe he can break clear. Dies up the inside and then the number seven of Ramadifa dies up the inside. at Turning clear and in a couple of seconds he's gone from P1 to P3. Ran it clear out front and then we had a big podium battle of a group of five, six. Now it looks like it's just livening up a little bit and it's going to be in a leading over the line. This is where Mitani struck last time with the double slipstream. Mitani is too far away, but it is Takahiro who takes the advantage now. We just have a new number seven to cheer on in the Asia Talent Cup. They, of course, cheered on in 2023 on his way to claiming the title. And this is involving Putra, Chaban, das Dakigan. Where we're going to focus our attention. It's still Ramadi for leading the way on the As you mentioned, we've seen the number seven out front before in the Asia Tan. Sticks it up the inside of Richie Takahira. Yeah, nice. Brilliant layout for motorcycle racing. One of the best on here in race two. It's still Ramadi for leading the way. Takahira, a very, very good yesterday to climb into P2. Mitani in third place. Any one of these riders can win. Any one of these riders can stand on the bit will. But let's see what unfolds in the final three laps. Ramadi for can move down at turn one like he did last time around. He's got a good run out of the final corner. It looks like it's just going to be Takahira who shoves it to the inside of the number seven and takes the lead.
a nice half lap here since taking the lead down into turn 15. And as I say that, he runs wide once again, just Takahira. So trying to carry a little bit too. Stream comes into effect here. Takahira Ramadipa. Ramadipa's gone ahead out in the wide left head of Takahira in turn one. We're just under two laps to go. So here at La Salle International Circus. He has been suspiciously deeper. And Takahira take chunks out of each other as Takahira dies at the inside down, down into turn six. A popular passing manoeuvre here at the sharp left hand in front of him. Don't forget about Singapore as well on the number 20. He's been sat there pretty much so. I'm going to be interested to see one and a half laps ago. The, the drives up into P2 from third place. Ramadipa demoted to... Yeah, we just mentioned it. Now it looks like the young Japanese rider is making a oh. move. This rider on the grid, just 14 years old, Elias. He's showing plenty of urgency. who's going to try sink his teeth into the rear tyre now of the Japanese rider. To the front and lead and he just bit straight back. That's exactly what he got to do. Play on to the final lap from Ramadipa deeper in the slipstream pulling up to the inside it's four abreast down into turn one on the final lap Takira on the inside Mitani between the two Ooh. Japanese are down in turn one uh, Mitani hangs it around the outside though Takira Ramadeep and Singapong they will have more opportunities there's about five more over them as well as turn 16 so where will it come Elias yeah good. Jeez, here's one of them turn six as you mentioned Mitani though late on the brakes and not going to be a track limits warning on the last lap and he knows it a little bit of a shake there Takira then dies at the end Japanese riders a little bit of contact there but Takira then what a move, he now leads the race. To Richie Takahira, brilliant, brilliant move to get ahead of Mitani. And now, will he come back? Well, he's going to try oh. fire around the outside here. Is he going to make that stick if he does? That's oh, oh Mitani hangs it up the inside of Takahira at turn 12. That's a fantastic three. turn 14. This is turn 15, the penultimate corner. Takahira at the end of the race, but coming into the final corner then. Mitani it hangs comes. it up the inside. It's all about getting a good run out of the final corner. Trying to weave out of the slipstream. Is it going to be in the sale? What a race from the top four. What a race from the rookie. A and this is the battle a little bit further down for fifth place.